Hey friends, this is Big Fun Medical Courses. Hope you will be fine. Please subscribe my channel for latest medical videos and uh, colorful medical mnemonics. My motto is medicine should be interesting. Today our topic is lateral middle tree syndrome or Wellenberg syndrome. It is also called posterior inferior cerebral artery syndrome. This syndrome occurs due to the occlusion of intracranial part of vertebral artery or branches of the posterior inferior cerebral artery. Here we go. Posterior inferior cerebral artery syndrome occurs due to the involvement of the, these six structures. Inferior cerebellar peduncle, vestibular nuclei, descending sympathetic fibers, nucleus ambiguous, spinal tract in the nucleus of fifth cranial nerve, and spinothalamic tract. Now I will discuss separately the presentation of involvement of each part of the middle lobe longata. This is the cross section of middle lobe longata. In posterior inferior cerebral artery, there are ipsilateral findings and contralateral findings. Regarding the ipsilateral findings, these are due to the involvement of the inferior, inferior cerebellar peduncle. Patient will present with the ataxia. And due to the involvement of the vestibular nuclei, patient will have vertigo and nausea. And due to the involvement of the descending sympathetic fibers, patient will present with the Horner syndrome. Patient will have ptosis, meiosis, anhydrosis, ophthalmosis. And due to the involvement of the nucleus ambiguous, patient will have dysphagia, dysarthria. And due to the involvement of the spinal tract in the nucleus of fifth cranial nerve, patient will have loss of pain and temperature sensation on the ipsilateral side of the face. So these are the ipsilateral findings. Patient have these findings on the side of the lesion and one is the contralateral finding it is due to the involvement of the spinothalamic tract due to the involvement of the spinothalamic tract patient will have loss of pain and temperature on the ipsilateral side of the body this lesion also occurs here I have drawn it on this side to easily remember that this finding is on contralateral side. So when these six structures are involved, these five findings are sign symptoms are on the ipsilateral side and one finding that is due to the involvement of the spinothalamic tract. Uh, and that is the loss of pain and temperature sensation on the contralateral side. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for latest medical updates, for WH, latest WHO guidelines, for latest FDA approvals, for colorful medical mnemonics, for USMLE high yield points, for Harrison medical lectures and Davidson medical lectures. Thanks for watching.